What you saying boys and girls, it's your boy Rough Diamond here. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a good one. So I spent my whole day grinding the 357 Magnum to level 29 so I could unlock the snake shot attachment. What is the snake shot attachment and why would you spend all day grinding for it, I hear you ask. Just look on screen now. For a pistol to pack this much of a punch, it's got to be something special and trust me it is. It basically turns the 357, which isn't the best weapon by any means, into a handheld shotgun that is one shot kill close range from hit fire. As I said, you've got to get the 357 up to level 29. It's not hard to do, it just takes a while, but it's well worth it, trust me. And the quickest way I found to do this is play headquarters or cyber attack on hardcore as enemies have less health and can be one shotted by the regular 357. It wasn't the most fun I've had, it was definitely a grind, but once the snake shot is attached, you'll forget all about those frustrating hours spent with the basic 357 manual. The closest weapon to the snake shot 357, in my opinion, is the 725 shotgun, but can it replace it? I'll be honest, I've only used the 725 a handful of times just because I simply don't like it. It takes no skill to use and plagues CQB maps, in my opinion. The phrase, if you can't beat them, join them, comes to mind, but not for me. I don't want to make the situation worse, and instead I'll pick a weapon that has a higher skill barrier, which honestly gives me more satisfaction. And at least with the 357, there are prerequisites before you can use the beast. Meaning the people that actually use it have invested hours of grinding to unlock it, instead of just jumping in a game and using the most powerful weapon just because you can. So is the Snakeshot 357 better than the 725? For many reasons I think it is, apart from the range, but you've got to agree, the range even post nerf on the 725 is ridiculous. The Snakeshot attachment is basically shotgun ammo loaded into a magnum to create this high damage CQB weapon. It has six bullets in the chamber, which are all one shot kill, so if your aiming is on point, you can literally take out six enemies before having to reload. When I first saw the Snakeshot 357, I honestly thought it had a certain cocktail of attachments added to it to make it so powerful. But that isn't the case, it's only one, the Snakeshot attachment, that only becomes available at level 29. Don't get me wrong, adding other attachments will definitely improve the weapon even more, and I'm still yet to find the perfect setup, but here's my current setup for the Snakeshot 357 on screen now, but you've also got to remember I haven't unlocked every attachment for a year. I mentioned earlier that the 725 has already been nerfed but it's still OP and used a lot. I do find it crazy a game like Call of Duty can be released with a weapon as OP as the 725. It couldn't have been missed by all the QCs and the rigorous tests which makes me think it was put in on purpose with the intention of nerfing it after. But why you ask? Many reasons. To give the casual player that feel-good factor, a talking point, pre-planned updates, the list goes on. Without a doubt, the same goes for the 357. It would have been tested and it will more than likely be nerfed as well, so get grinding before it does. A lot of games, especially AAA titles, always seem to get released with some sort of game-breaking feature. A talking point and a bit of controversy to boost sales and the player base. It took about a week for the community to find the snake shot and it makes me wonder what other surprises are hidden within the game or what have they planned in the future. Right, that's it for this video. Hope you all found it useful. Like if you like, comment and sub. Hit the little bell so you don't miss the next one. I've been your boy Rough Diamond. Laters.